Well, welcome back to Hey Kentucky. It's time for a game of Do We Care? We have help from one of our favorites, Theo the Pup. Who also brought along Sandra Stokely. Oh, wow. Thank Top <laughs> I know, right? Thank you, Mary Jo. <laughs> wow. Say hi, Theo. Thanks for being well, here. Thank oh, you. Oh, so cute. We'll talk about Theo here in a second, but a recently created Facebook page is attempting to recruit good old Matt Bevan into the 2020 Senate race to, quote, stand up against Mitch McConnell and those swamp creatures. The page had eight likes as of today. Mary Jo and Adam, do we care? Uh, no because this is not, I, I think it's funny that it has eight likes, which I'm guessing is the amount of people in the Bevan family. <laughs> um, but <laughs> no, he's I, not running against Mitch. No, and, and I care in the way that you care about losing sort of a persistent toothache. Yeah. Like I'm just over this <laughs> yeah. and that's the extent of how much I care. Okay, all right, Sandra, what's next? Following last month's squeaker in Kentucky's race for the governor, state lawmakers are considering a constitutional amendment that would actually trigger an automatic vote recount in elections decided by less than half of a percentage point. Guys, do we care about this one? I do care about this because then it is less of seeming like a sour grapes, I lost, now I want to go back out and, and, and see what happened. Yeah, there ought to be a recount in a really close election. The law can clean that up and take the personalities out of it. I do care. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I do too. I do too. I like this one. All right, Sandra, what's next? Former House Speaker Jeff Hoover has sent a strongly worded email to his fellow Kentucky Republicans warning them against passing a bill that would give the Senate confirmation powers over the governor's transportation chief. Do we care about the news? Well, this, is, this seems like a, a little bit of infighting between a couple Republicans here uh, over something that I don't know should be this big of a deal. It shouldn't be this big of a deal because we expect governors to have quality roads, quality health care, good jobs, quality schools. You can't take away the governor's ability to impact that. So when you've got a Republican like Jeff Hoover, who doesn't have a reputation for being really particularly partisan sort of call the time out on this. I think it, I think it is important. Uh, I think these guys need to get together and work it out and not kneecap a governor uh, just as he goes into office. Exactly. All right, Sandra, what's next? Well, Mary Jo, a new bill in Frankfurt aims to improve the communication between jailers when an inmate is transferred from one facility to another, accounting for concerns about putting both the prisoner and the staff at risk. Do we care about this proposed legislation? I think this is great. It's part of like some of the um, criminal justice reform. I mean, this is a very small step, but uh, bad things can happen in these transportation situations. Absolutely right. We should care because being jailer is one of the hardest jobs in Kentucky. We lock up everybody for almost every reason you can imagine, and then we don't make sure the jailers have the resources they need to do their job. It's dangerous work. We've tried to get by on the cheap for way too long. This is a good step forward. All right, Sandra, what's next? A new report finds that many states are in better shape than, than ever to weather a potential recession. But the release from the Moody's Analytics says Kentucky, Louisiana, and Illinois, well, Mary Jo, they're among the least prepared to handle a downtown downturn rather in the economy. Do we care about this? Of, of course we do, because inevitably the economy ebbs and flows all the time. So we're going to hit a recession like you, it's point. coming. It's yeah. for sure. You can count on it. The big problem here is that we've underfunded basic services in Kentucky for a long time. And we've got a tax code that's so outdated, we don't meet the needs of the Treasury. So the next recession that will hit this country will hit us hard, and we better get ready for it. Yep. All right, Sandra, what's next? This is the coolest story out there, in my opinion. Georgetown College has announced a Legacy and Legend Scholarship, which will actually provide free tuition for any high school graduate in Scott County over the next decade. Mary Jo and Adam, do we care about this, this idea? This is awesome. You're, you're right about this, Sandy. So cool. That's a $160,000 value. It's awesome. Yeah. And we care a lot. And so in this state where we've um, invested way too little in education. We have far too few people who are college educated. A big innovative step like this is super cool and it shows that Kentuckians can build the future rather than chase the past. Right, and we, we want to keep our best brains here. Here in Kentucky, and that's a great college. Yep. And they've just demonstrated their commitment to their community. Absolutely. Big, big pat on the back. All right, Sandra, what's next? And finally, NKU says it's the first organization in the state to join the Cincinnati 2030 District, which is part of an international network of cities developing a new model for urban sustainability. 
Guys, do we care about this effort to achieve carbon neutrality? Of course, and I know carbon neutrality is a, a big word and hard to understand everything, but any step in the right direction of trying to stem the tide of climate change is a big deal. Absolutely, and you know, I work in this space, I'm a solar developer, um, this is the direction the whole world's going in, from Toyota to Brown Foreman uh, establishing goals to be totally carbon neutral. Uh, we've got to get with it, and yep. we're way behind here. And it's not just about fighting climate change, so that's really important. It's about seizing the opportunities that come by adopting renewable energy. Uh, we're not there yet in Kentucky. We've got to get there. Including in providing jobs. In especially, especially providing in, jobs. Yeah, you can't, you can't export to Mexico a green job. I don't know why people haven't figured that out here, but we're going to have to get with it. All right, Sandy, you got a shout out for us with that sweet little Theo. That's right. Theo wanted to come by and urge everyone as we are in the holiday season to make sure that you check out the Lexington Humane Society's Holiday Boutique. Now you can go to LexingtonHumaneSociety.org for all the hours. They have the coolest gifts not only for your pooches and your kitties out there, but also for the humans. Great, great t-shirts, sweatshirts, the whole nine yards. Don't tell Theo, but I got his gift there, Mary Jo. <laughs> okay, thank you. He, must have, been, he must have been a good boy. Stay with us. We'll be right back.